And we tell the story of a Hollywood actor, an earl in Yorkshire, and the portrait commissioned to acknowledge their shared history. Now to a fascinating story about the British actor David Harewood and another man called Harewood, the 8th Earl of Harewood, who commissioned this portrait. It's a story that starts hundreds of years ago in the Caribbean on a plantation where the actor's ancestors were enslaved. Our culture editor, Katie Razzle, reports. One of Britain's grandest stately homes, Harewood House in West Yorkshire, built in the 18th century on the proceeds of slavery from money made on Caribbean sugar plantations. Obviously, it was my ancestors who were actually doing the work. Absolutely, but, and that's not something that's uh, acknowledged fully enough, I don't no. think. Renowned actor David Harewood is descended from slaves, slaves owned by the current Earl of Harewood's forefathers. Uh, this is Henry, the second Earl. He's the guy who's owned my ancestors. Yeah. Which is why you share the name. Yeah. Each slave was given the surname of the owner. My family's history and your family's history interlock in a weird and dark way, historically. The portrait in the frame. Wow. In the room where it will end up. How you doing? Dude, how are you, man? Good to see you. Good to well see done. you. That well is done. fantastic. Now, this new work by the artist Ashley Carroll will sit amongst the Harewood family portraits painted by the likes of Reynolds and Gainsborough. It's a commission for Harewood House's Missing Portraits series to reflect a more truthful history. Hundreds and thousands of people visit this house. Yeah. When they see that, they're going to stop for a minute and go, hang on a minute. So what's he doing? What's here? he doing? <laughs> and that's exactly the question we want them to ask. Exactly. And then they will understand the legacy of yeah. slavery. I'm not responsible, but I am, and I feel this very strongly, I am accountable for the legacy of that time. And that's what we've tried to do in many ways here over quite a long period of time now. 230 Negroes at, what's it say, at 45 pounds. Per person, I think. Per person. The archives itemise plantation property, enslaved people listed below horses, goats and cattle. And after slavery was abolished in the 1830s, the Lassels received £26,000 in compensation. That's more than £2.6 million today. Slaves got nothing. And more widely, demands for apologies and reparations are increasing. Do you think the British government should apologise for slavery? I'm 100%. To acknowledge it is at least making, is going towards mending it, healing. And I, until you do apologise, that sense of healing, I think, will remain a bit of an open wound. There's a part of me that just wants to scream and burn the place down. But I'm not sure what that would achieve. It's a complex issue. At least we can talk about it. Because I don't think being angry about it is going to achieve much. Visitors to this house are now part of that growing conversation about the brutality and enduring legacy of slavery. Katie Razzle, BBC News, West Yorkshire.